the book of Psalms, chapter 28, verse 7. The Lord, Yahweh, in the name of his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, is my strength and my shield. My heart trusteth in him, and I am helped. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoiceth, and with my song will I praise him. You know, to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in the name of his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, be the glory forever and ever. And through the Spirit, you know, I just wanted to get into, you know, some quick scriptures, just pushing out this vibration of just rejoicing in the Lord. You know, being happy in Yahweh, in the name of Yahweh Shai, with this world enemy calls God and Jesus Christ. You know, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Just some quick scripts and basically putting that vibration out to the old fellow believers, those that believe that the word of the Lord, the Holy Bible, is the truth, the gospel, the good news, in spirit and in truth. Okay? Praising the Lord because in the society, these demons, these adversaries to the truth, to the gospel, to the word of the Heavenly Father, want to stop us from being happy in the Lord. Want to stop us from keeping our eyes on what? The kingdom. Okay? A king's dominion. Our Lord and Savior, the King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Yahweh Shai, who this word calls Yeshua, Jesus Christ, the so-called black man according to the scriptures. They want to keep you away from that truth. But keep in mind what the Lord said, the kingdom of heaven dwelleth in you. Okay? The kingdom of heaven dwelleth in you. You being aware of the gospel, the good news, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. No more suffering for our people. No more suffering for those that fear the Lord, that love the Lord. The descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, according to the scriptures of the Israelites, the Bible speaks of, whose salvation is for, as it is written, to whom pertaineth the kingdom, the glory, okay, to whom pertain the promises, the covenant, Old Testament, New Testament, even the Apocrypha, okay? Once again, Psalm chapter 28, verse 7. The Lord, Yahweh, in the name of his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, because his blood was shed, crucified after the third day he was risen up in glory to bring us back to the Heavenly Father. That's our strength. That's our shield. Through this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, this holy word, our heart, meaning our mind, trusteth in him. And we are helped, and I am helped. Therefore, my heart, my mind greatly rejoiceth. And with my song will I praise the Lord, meaning bless Yahweh. Bless Yahweh Shai. Bless Yahweh in the name of Yahweh Shai. Thank you, Lord, Father God, for giving us this truth and giving us opportunity to receive salvation. Okay? The Lord, Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, is their strength, our strength, okay? Our strength, our salvation, our anointed, our big brother, our mediator, the one that blot out our sins, our transgressions. Sin is a transgression of the law according to the scriptures, but you know what? The law is still in effect. We can't keep the law perfectly, but we strive to be perfect just like our big bro, Yahweh Shai, the deliverer. And he is the saving strength of his anointed, the children of Israel, the elect. Because not everyone that's an Israelite is going to be delivered. But those of Negro Indian descent, as the scriptures say, shall receive that mercy. And really, to the chosen, the remnant, who the Lord has chosen from the very beginning. Before the foundations of the earth was even created. Save thy people and bless thine inheritance. So through the grace and mercy of Yahweh, in the name of Yahweh Shah, I just pray that... All those that hear this message, all those that's in the faith, all those that's aware of the truth, just be aware of the truth. Rejoice in the Lord. May Yahweh, in the name of Yahweh Shai, Lord, Father God, in the name of His only begotten Son, give you traveling mercies. Wherever y'all go, wherever y'all may roam, to the brothers, to the sisters, to the fellow believers, those of the household of faith, to the little ones, to the new believers, to the young ones, even to the helps and the friends, to the prophets, to the women, children, wives of the prophets. Okay, to the to the wives that have unbelieving husbands, to the husbands that have unbelieving wives, may how much may have mercy on you and, and allow you to rejoice in this society, bring you peace, bring you happiness, bring you joy, and bring you salvation. Lord willing it comes soon. Okay? Rejoice in the Lord, be happy in the Lord, and be happy that you know this truth. Stay strong, stay in the faith, stay in the spirit, stay strong. Shalom. Peace.